One of my favorite quotes is by Martin Luther King Jr. He said, we must accept finite disappointment, but we must never lose infinite hope. Sometimes there is disappointment in our lives, but when we allow that momentary disappointment to define our whole life, well, that is a disappointing thing for ourselves and for others in what we could do for them. My friend, I ask you to have inside of you an infinite hope, to have something that is beyond you. Well, what is that? That is faith in God. And to know that, that God can make your tomorrows better than anything that you've ever experienced in the past. We have had disappointment in the past, but no longer is it going to define our tomorrows. Oswell Chambers said, There is no road back to yesterday, except perhaps in the mind, except perhaps in our imagination. And that, my friend, can become a crippling thing, if, if we allow it to. In Isaiah 43, verses 17 through 19, it says, Do not remember the past events. Pay no attention to things of old. Look, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. I love that. It will make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. My friend, have you made peace with your past? If so, I congratulate you, and, and I mean that because you are above the norm in society. Most of society is crippled by a past that may be decades ago. Something happened, some disappointment, and they have allowed that to define their lifetime. If you have not made peace with your past, this today is a golden opportunity to change your thoughts by extension and therefore your life you will extend the way that you view things. You will allow your mind to expand beyond the crippling shell that it may have been in. By accepting what has been and by trusting God for what will be. As frail humans we can be slow to forget yesterday's disappointments. Now, if that sounds like you, as I've said, you're not alone. But if you sincerely desire to focus your hopes and your energies on the future, then you must find ways to accept the past, no matter how difficult it may seem to do so. You extend yourself into the future. You don't limit yourself in the past. Now, if you have not yet made peace with your past, today is the day to declare, with God's help, an end to all the hostilities, to take your past to God all the time and to lay it at God's feet, and then turn from there your thoughts to the wondrous promises of God, to the glorious future that God is giving you. And God and you will walk into that future together, mind in mind, hand in hand, and you will discover the greatest is yet to be.